uh, one of the other questions uh, that gets asked a lot in the game is uh, equipment. How do I know which ball to use on what oil pattern? How do I know, you know, which ball is which, which is the best to use? Uh, the app gives you some, some good information on the balls as far as uh, power, hook, length, axis tilt, axis rotation, RPM. Uh, they're all in the app. And when you can learn to understand what those do, it can help you with uh, choosing the proper ball. Um, if you uh, take a really long oil pattern, we'll say 40 feet, 43 feet, that's a longer pattern, you, the ball is going to roll a lot longer and hook later on the lanes. So you want a ball that has... Um, some length and some rotation to help you counteract that. Um, vice versa, if you have a short pattern, uh, you'll notice on, if you're watching the PBA lately, uh, a few weeks ago, everybody was using urethane on a really short pattern. That ball doesn't hook uh, quite as much. On a short pattern, there's a lot more friction towards the back side of the lane, so you need the ball to hook uh, as late as possible to carry the pocket. So it all depends. You know, whether you're using reactive, urethane, uh, you got to know the ball that you're using. Um, power is simply that, power. How much power you're going to uh, generate as the ball travels down the lane and hit the pocket. Uh, if you ever watch younger kids bowl that use like 8-pound balls, you'll see that the balls hit the pins and the ball deflects off the pins rather than the pins deflecting off the ball. You know, a heavier ball... Uh, if you think about it, a 15 or 16 pound ball is going to create more power in the pocket than, say, a 12 or 13 pound ball. So if you look at the power rating, that's you throwing a heavier ball. The hook is a rating, usually uh, if you look at a hook rating, it's from 1 to 10. 10 being the most amount of hook possible with the ball. Uh, a lot of the PBA, the, they'll show you the arsenal that the, the guys are using. A lot of times you'll see like seven and a half, eight, nine, ten. That's the rating of how much hook the ball has. And length is simply that, how long the ball will travel down the lane before it starts to create the rotation and hook into the pocket. Now as far as axis tilt, axis rotation, uh, tilt on a bowling ball is the angle at which you release it with your hand in a vertical and horizontal plane. So the more axis tilt you have, the later the ball is going to hook down the lane. If your axis tilt at any time is equal to your uh, rotation, the ball is not going to hook at all. Um, it's just simple physics. Uh, the rotation is, the, of course, the revolutions and the RPM of how fast the ball is turning. You'll hear rev rate and things like that. You always want your axis tilt to be less than the axis rotation. And by doing that, uh, you can see by changing those uh, in the practice rooms, you'll see where, uh, say your ball is hooking too much, uh, and you keep finding yourself for a right-hander moving further and further left of the lane, and you just can't get the ball to stop hooking so much. Try to increase your axis rotation a little bit and at the same time you know try to change your uh, rotation change your make your tilt a little higher and bring your rotation up a little bit um, people ask a good starting point uh, I use the phase a lot in the game and I have my axis rotation at a 16 or my axis tilt at a 16 and my axis rotation at uh, around 44 to 46 with full P uh, RPM, and that's on the cranker style or the Belmo style. So you can check those out. Um, usually stand in the middle of the lane somewhere between 20 to 23 board, throwing right-handed, um, and I target around the uh, third arrow from the right. So that's a good starting place, and you can almost start every single ball in that,